Now we're saying that the Prophet comes as the final example of ascension for his ummah. And there have been those who have been believing that it is not possible to ascend like the Prophet did. Yet those of us who are now in the field of ascension and teaching the light are telling you that beings of the light have ascended from this earth. <laughs> They've always been ascending from this earth. They've been coming and going. <laughs> the fact that you didn't know that is an unfortunate truth, but beings of the light have been finding the light and ascending, and there are beings of light at various different realms, humans and all the other species as well and humans of various kinds, not just those colors that we see, white, brown, yellow, red, orange, black, and so on, of this earth, which happens to be a planet that is extremely diverse, my brothers and sisters. We are saying that we are now here on this planet getting ready for an ascension. And that means something is going on with you. And who are you? And you want to know why is it true? Well, the last time we talked, we talked about disclosure and beings from other places. And now we're going to talk about ascended masters and this concept to understand, well, if there are beings in other planets and other places, then what the heck is going on out there? Uh, what do all those guys believe? Like, I mean, uh, are these like green reptilian monsters coming to suck our brains out or... Is there some kind of hierarchy and structure? And so all of us teaching ascension are trying to tell you, of course, if you are seeing light and you are seeing patterns and you are seeing synchronicities here in this world, <clears throat> do you think that the rest of the universe is without the perfection of all that is? Are the other realms not part of the perfection of all that is? Is there not structure and order and in a beautiful fashion, in all that is from the higher realms, of course there are. So now you are seeing that, of course, there were going to be masters and people at different levels who may have been from this earth and not from this earth, and people who found the light and sought the light and went either above to the skies or went into the inner earth or went all the way to the center of the earth and then above to the skies. And you are finding out now that people here on this earth are from all kinds of other places. And then there are people who have descended from the skies here. There are people who have come out of the inner earth here. There are people who have been here for a generation. There are people who were just got here just one moment ago, right? Now, before you get uncomfortable, I always tell you, my name's Salim Siddiqui, right? I'm a human, I was born here, right? I didn't come from anywhere else, right? So let's keep everything in perspective and try not to get scared because we talk about weird, wild stuff here. But everything we're talking about today is cool and lovey-dovey, right? So let's, let's take it easy. We are going to talk about some serious information, right? We've been dealing with a lot of fluff, so let's go into serious information. Now we're saying, how do we start to understand the hierarchies and the levels of people in the other realms? Well, we're making a bold claim. We are saying, by Allah's name, that we are followers of Muhammad, the Muslims, those of us who are awake, right? I'm not talking about every person, Joe Schmo on the street, who says, yeah, yeah, I'm a Muslim, and he doesn't know anything about his faith. I'm talking about those who are coming forward, who are saying, yes, we are from the family of light, and we are awake, and we know what that means, and we are teaching ascension because we can read the pattern so clearly because it's obvious in front of all of us now, is it not? <laughs> and one of the things I do is just talk about so many things from the patterns that when you see all the connections, it's so obvious that I don't tell you, believe this or follow this or do that. I just tell you the story, and when I finish a section, you're like, Wow, that was weird. <laughs> that was weird. And then later on, after a few days, something happens and you look back and you're like, well, that was really weird, actually. <laughs> the synchronicities start to connect in and you start to see that the very final fundamental that we keep reiterating is that there is a plan for all of this, both here and there. And that the difference between being in the light and being in the dark is that those of us in the light are seeing the perfection even here in duality, that we are saying 
that something happens to you and you start to feel it and your heart starts to vibrate and you take a deep breath and you exhale and you realize your heart's not actually beating faster but it is vibrating faster what the frack is going on inside of me I, I think I have a soul <laughs> right and you were beginning to realize strange things wait I was told I had a soul but I could feel it now and you're starting to notice these changes and so we're gonna go straight into the information on what is the methodology of understanding the next level of what happens on the earth, right? Because we said there are many people out there who are talking about destruction and calamity, and then we go to a soothsayer and he says, oh, I see this prediction, and you know, this is gonna happen, and choom, bang, bing, and this happens on the island, and wait a second, what timeline are you on, my brother? <laughs> right, you could be totally lost, right? You could be totally lost. We don't know what timeline you're on, right? The problem with going to fortune tellers and soothsayers and all these other people is they misguide you from the truth, right? Unless they are those who understand the truth of the light, unless they are those who understand what we would call the Holy Spirit, unless they are those who have received that themselves and understand how it is and then can relate it. And then those types of people don't make predictions about lottery numbers and future uh, you know, destruction of the world, they tell you the more important things about what your soul is and remind you about what's really going on. So let's talk about this concept of ascended masters and that we are making the boldest of claims is that I am nothing, but I am a follower of Muhammad, Sayyid al-Mursaleen, the master of the masters. And we'll define how this plays out in the map later on. But one of the reasons why that is, is because he was given the word and because he was taught and gifted with the ascension of the body and the return. And he is the seal of the messengers, which means no new prophet coming with new revelation. The revelation that we have right now is what we use to elucidate and enlighten every community that came before us. Hmm, that sounds very, very arrogant. No, it is not arrogant to recognize that the truth of every prophet was one and the same. And that every being of light who is on this earth is telling you that that truth was always one and the same. And those who understood that truth always recognized it in each other. And the dark always made every group and community have division. Whether it's the followers of Muhammad or the followers of Jesus or Moses or David or Solomon or every group all the way back to the two sons of Adam, Cain and Abel. And those of you who have been on our journey know how important it was <laughs> to see the original conflict between our two brothers. And it has been a long journey that we have taken and a long time to get to where we are. And so the fact that you know that we are now at the time when the world is ascending and the signs of ascension are so numerous that people from every community are speaking up and all that you see around you in the art and the culture and the movies and the TV and the music and the poetry and the war and the destruction, the chaos and the and the government, and the politics, and the financial system, that which sayers, and light beings, and way showers, and rainbow warriors, who were of the noblest generation before my generation, were speaking about, and they sounded wacko and loony, now is happening in front of us so quickly and so fast, that many of us are somewhat amazed of how quickly this is happening. So now let's go straight into this concept. <clears throat> and we want to talk about this concept of understanding the masters and who all the masters are. And so I'm looking straight at this piece of paper and this now because we want to go straight into information. Sometimes I use other people's movies or scripts or songs or lyrics 
or now we're even going to go into what is the message for all these new age spiritual enlightenment communities.